uh, good to be here um, this morning. Um, before we open up our word of prayer, um, our, don't forget we're back again this evening, 7 o'clock. Um, Pastor will be bringing the word again tonight. and We'll be upstairs and we'll have a, a cup of tea as well. Um, we'll be on our Facebook page if you can't make it along, but it'll be great to see us tonight um, at 7 o'clock. Tuesday evening, after a couple of weeks break, our midweek meeting returns. Um, so we'll be having a time of prayer and I'll be bringing a short devotional on Tuesday night at 7.45. And we'll be uh, live on Facebook from 8 o'clock uh, on Tuesday. We're here again next Lord's Day. Uh, Paul will be bringing the word next Sunday morning. And Pastor will be bringing the word next Sunday evening. So we look forward to next week also. Um, we'll open up in a word of prayer and then we're going to pray some worship together. Again. We bless you Lord. Lord, we thank you once again, Lord, that we're here this morning in your house, Lord. Lord, in your presence, Lord, lifting your precious name on high, Lord. Lord, there's nothing else we love to do more than to praise your precious name on high, Lord, that name which is above every name, Lord. And Lord, we do that every day, Lord, but Lord, we love doing that collectively, Lord. So thank you, Lord, that we're found in your house this morning, Lord. And Lord, as I always pray, we pray that everything that's said and done today, Lord, would be satisfactory to you. Lord, that you would get the glory in this place this morning, Lord. Lord, that you would be the center in this place this morning, Lord. That you would be lifted on high, Lord, and glorified this morning, Lord. Lord, we pray, Lord, that as we gather around your table a little bit later on, Lord, that you would once again accept our thanks and our praise for what you did on the cross, Lord. Accept our thanks and praise that this morning we serve a Savior who is alive and well, Lord, and seated at the right hand of the Father. Yes. As we praise and worship again in a few moments, Lord, we pray that it would be sweet sounding to your ear, and again that you would be magnified this morning. Lord, bless Pastor as he brings your word later on also, Lord. We thank you for him, Lord, and we just pray, Lord, that you just keep him and Lynn safe, Lord, and healthy and well, Lord. Jesus. And Lord, give them fruits for their labor. Lord, we pray, Lord, that there be somebody that would still come in this morning, Lord, or somebody who is watching at home who doesn't know you as Savior, Lord. Lord, that you just soften their heart, Lord. Lord, speak to them this morning, and Lord, that we would see somebody come to know you yes. as their own and personal Lord, Savior. Lord. Yes. Lord, we know that there's people who would also love to be here this morning, Lord, who need a touch from you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, we know that there's also people who have made it out, Lord, but still need a touch, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're an all-knowing God this morning. We thank you, Lord, that there's nothing too difficult for you and that we serve the great physician. Lord, for those that need a touch, Lord, will you just place that capable healing hand upon them, Lord, and Lord, bring them back to full health and strength, Lord. Mm -hmm. Anybody that would be worried or anxious about anything, Lord, would you just remove that, Lord, yeah. in your precious name, Lord. Just surround them with your peace, which surpasses all understanding. So, Lord, we'll love you this morning. We'll praise you this morning. Where yes. would we be, Lord, if it wasn't for you, Lord? What would we do if it wasn't for you? It doesn't even bear thinking, but Lord, we thank you, we praise you, Lord. For those that know you as Saviour, Lord, that you're always with us, Lord, never leaving us and never forsaking us, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, we we'll praise your precious name for everything. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just before we sing the next song, why don't you turn around and shake someone's hand? Yes, <laughs> Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Of course, there's just still a few people on their feet. They can't wait. Glory to God. Let's stand on our feet, folks, and let's praise the Lord together. Hallelujah. Worship your Lord this morning.
Did you need 
praise and worship was wonderful, and the Word of God was fantastic as well too. Let's hope the Word of God's good this morning. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Luke 10, please. And we'll start at the first verse. We'll read the first 20 verses, please. After these things, the Lord appointed another 70 also, and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but that laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would bring forth laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse nor scrip nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. And into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. And if not, it shall turn to you again. And in the same house shall remain eating and drinking such things as they give. For the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. And into whatsoever city ye enter, and they, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. And heal the sick that are, that are therein. And say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But into whatever city ye enter, and they receive you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same and say, Even the very dust of your city which cleaveth on to us, we do wipe off against you notwithstanding, but you are sure of this, that the kingdom of God is nigh unto you. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Woe unto thee, Chorazin, woe unto thee, Bethesda, or Bethsaida, for, it is, uh, for if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which had been done in you, they would have had, they, they had a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it, is, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven, shall be thrust down to hell. He that heareth you heareth me, and he that despises you despiseth me. And he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give, you, give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And notwithstanding shall any by, by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your name are written in heaven. Bless your Lord. That's all I want to read this morning. Praise Folks, your that's Lord. what I want to think about this morning. Our names are written in heaven. Very often whenever I'm speaking, I mention about our names but in the Lamb's Book of Life. And praise the Lord, our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life this morning. Let's bow our head for a moment and ask for the Lord's help with this word this morning. Father, we thank you again for the opportunity that we have to come to this house this morning. Thank you, Lord, for the praise and worship. And Lord, we thank you for what one of the lines says, our, our worship is a melody. Our worship is a weapon. And Lord, we use it against the evil one this morning. And the evil things, we raise a hallelujah in this house. We say praise the Lord for all that you have done for us. Lord, I pray you bless this word this morning and bless your people here and for those who are watching online. Pray, Lord, that this will be a word of encouragement and a help to each and every single one. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. 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 And amen. Now, this powerful account of the 70 being sent out by the Lord Jesus along with his 12, sent into the harvest. And what a great harvest they were sent into. And folks, we too, all these years later, have been sent into our own harvest field. This area is our harvest field. This city is our harvest field. In fact, this little land of ours is our harvest field as well too. You know, the Lord warned them. He says, I send you as lambs among wolves. You know, but even though they were sent in as lambs among wolves, they had the greatest protection of all. They were under the protection of heaven. That's where you are this morning. Under the protected of heaven. Glory to God. You know, folks, I know we can't see them this morning. But I honestly believe that every time that we meet and we gather, there are angels gathered with us. Why? Because they are ministering spirits unto those who believe. Now, I'm not going to say we're going to find feathers on the floor or any nonsense like that. 
but they are here with us this morning. We are standing on holy ground. We're sitting on holy ground. And as we sit here in Bali, Selen, Elam, we're also seated in heavenly places with the Lord. Glory to God. This morning should be a little piece of heaven come down. And for us, and we have been raised that little bit as well too. Praise the Lord under the protection of heaven. This is the power that they have. This is the power even which has been given unto us. I will say this, folks. Sometimes we as Pentecostals get a wee bit carried away about the experiences. It's not about the experiences. It's about the heavenly experience of knowing that your name is written there. Hallelujah. Is your name there this morning? You know, I've often said, and I mean this, when I get to glory, I'm going to ask the Lord, Lord, can I see my name? Even though I'm there, I want to see it there. Not that my name means anything, my name's nothing in the sight of men, but I want to see it there, written there. Glory to God. Folks, this is the power that they have, and the power that we have as well to bring peace into whatever home that they enter. Folks, no matter where we go, we've got the peace of God which passes all understanding. In every situation that we find, we should be able to bring this with the strength of the Holy Spirit and peace there. The sad reality is for so many of us, we go and we start a hornet's nest. We're like a hornet, are we not? No, we need to bring the peace of God to every situation. It says this, a having power to see the sick heal in his name. Folks, the Lord still heals today. Bless Hallelujah. You. That didn't stop, you know. He still saves, does he not today? Of course. He still heals. He still delivers. Glory to God. He's still in the healing business this morning. Praise you, Lord. It also says if, you're, if they are rejected, warn them that reject the word of God. Folks, I'm sad this morning. Our city has rejected the word of God. They really have. They've turned their back upon the word. And you know, whenever you read what's, what's there, what the Savior said, It'll be worse for Belfast than what it was for Sodom because they have totally rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. This world has rejected the Lord. This world has turned their back again and again and again. And the sad reality is this. It's getting worse. And they're waxing worse. And they're getting worse and worse. Don't pray, Lord, make this world better. You're only wasting your breath. Say, Lord, send revival. Glory to God. Save the Lord. And folks, this is how I believe we should be praying as a church. We should be praying, not just Lord, send people in. We should be praying, Lord, send those who are seeking Christ in through the door. I heard a story there the other day. There was a preacher who was sharing this. And you know, this is a sad reality. There was a girl who went to special gospel meetings. And you know what? She was, she was anxious for her soul. Time and time again, she was standing behind and talking to the preacher. And the preacher was saying, you know, she was close. Close. Folks, close isn't enough, you know. Almost persuaded isn't enough. And all of a sudden, she stopped going to the meetings. So the preacher found out where she lived and rocked the door and says, what happened to you? What happened to you? Folks, we see it so very often where somebody has had to make that decision to go in for Christ. And they decided to run the other direction. But it was worse what happened to her. She went home. And she was sitting at the table. And her tears were running down her face. And her father said to her, What's the matter, daughter? And she says, I was at the gospel meeting tonight. And she says, The preacher said, That if I don't get saved, I'm damned. And I'm going to a lost eternity. Don't go back, he says. Don't go back anywhere near there. You come to our church on Sunday morning. Our preacher doesn't talk like that. Isn't that sad, folks? She got her name on a church roll, but she didn't get her name on the list, on the Savior's list. Glory to God. She didn't get her name on the Lamb's book of life. How very, very sad. We still hope for if she's still alive today. Folks, I want to tell you something. They come back and they were all excited. And of course, there's nothing wrong with being an excited saint. What's wrong with you, Sadly, today is we don't get excited enough. We're a dear lot sometimes, are we not? We're as dull as dishwater sometimes. We have life in us. Tell all about the life that you have. Don't tell about the life that you did have. Tell about the life that you have in Christ. I am a new creation. I am a new creature in Christ. I am saved, blood bought, blood washed, blood covered, Holy Spirit. Hello. 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 
Lord. Glory to God. They can pop. And they say to the Lord, We have power over devils. Woo! We have power that even they are subject unto us through your name. Folks, that's it. It's his name. It's always his name. Not our name. Not the name of Adam or Presbyterianism or whatever. It's the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's power in the name of Jesus. This power continues to this day, I believe. There's not the money that certainly hasn't weakened. Hallelujah. But folks, you know, it's recorded what great things that they've done. Called out, these called out ones by Jesus. And of course, they come back with great joy. Said even the devils are subject unto you. Unto us through your name. And the Lord's answer to them shows us the very thing that we should rejoice in. We shouldn't run about saying, We've got power authority over devils. I'm sick, so tired of hearing Pentecostal preach in the garden. We've got power to do this. We've got power to do that. We've got power. No, you haven't. The power's in the blood. It's not yours, it's His. Hallelujah. Yes, you Lord. power on your own. The Lord said this, what a strange answer to them. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give power unto you to first and foremost tread on serpents and scorpions. Remember that one time before, David, forgive me. <laughs> Poor old scorpions. But folks, if we do, it doesn't mean they say we're going to walk about and stand on David's scorpions or stand on stakes or any of those things. What's that mean? We have power over all things which are evil. Have you? Yes, you do. You absolutely have power over things that are evil. Why? Because the Romans 6 and verse 14 tells us that sin no longer has dominion over you. You might still be sinning, but it has no dominion over you. That sin that so easily besets you, that, that addiction that comes your way time and time again, it doesn't have dominion. You can break it in Jesus' name. Secondly, he says, we're all the power of the enemy. Romans 8 and verse 37 says that through Christ, we are all overcomers. He overcome the world, the flesh, and the devil. And we too can know victory and enjoy victory in all these areas. Thirdly, he says, nothing shall by any means hurt you. The good protection of Christ. Where he says, no, I am with you always, even on the ends of the earth. Matthew 20 and 20. These three things are great for our day and today living here. But here's the emphasis. He says this. Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Boy, I've sat and thought about this the whole week long. And it has blessed my heart because very often I just say it, glib, not, not glibly, but I say it, it just rolls off the tongue so easily. Our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Folks, that's just mighty, mighty stuff. But our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Why is it so important to have your name written in heaven? To have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Three wee things, very simply. Number one, it signifies that you are a citizen of that city. Your name's there. You're a citizen of that country. This world is not your own. You may dwell in Belfast or wherever in the outlying areas, but folks... Your home is in heaven. Glory to God. Secondly, your inheritance is there. Well, what's our inheritance? Our inheritance is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's there. Hallelujah. And folks, you're, thirdly, you're identified as Christ's own. I'm not concerned with what role I'm on. I never get on to the roles of honor. I don't know any of those things. In fact, very, very good. I have the name of a sausage roll. But the truth of the matter is this. We're not interested in having roles. We're not interested in having our names and walls. But I'm delighted that every day that my name is written in heaven. Crazy you Lord. stop for a moment and consider that. Your name is written there. Hallelujah. In the book of life. And most importantly, in the Lamb's book of life. I remember many, many years ago when I was first saved, getting tapes <coughs> of a wee woman that lived in, uh, in Rothkill. She said to me, I'll never forget it. She said to me this day, I told her I could see him all the weeks before. And she said to me, she says, what church are you going to? I said, one day, you know, church. All right, okay. I said, where do you go yourselves? She said, we go to the Baptist. I said, great stuff. So anyway, he was going to her house delivering every week. 
I said, come out that stage. He said, he says, son, are you still going on with the Lord? I said, I am, praise God. Are you still going to that Elam church? I said, I am, as a matter of fact. Hold on a minute. I said, then she brought me a bag. Bum with tapes. She says, listen to you. Now, I don't know if she was trying to convert me over to the Baptist side or what. But all these tapes that she had was of two wonderful preachers. A man called Pastor Tom Orr, who was a minister down in the Rathcote Baptist for many, many years. Good, godly man, fantastic preacher. And the other one was Willie Mullen of Lurgan. And boy, oh boy, I learned stuff from him. My, my, my. I remember learning this. He said, you know, when it comes to them opening all the books, he says, in the book of life, every single person, whether they've drawn one breath or whether they've lived a hundred years, their names are written in the book of life. And your name's there. But that's not the important book. It's the Lamb's Book of Life. Yeah. Well, think about it in a wee moment, because it comes to the end, it says, the books were open. And all the books will be open. And there'll be an eternal order at the end. And it says this, and another book was open. What's that? That's the Lamb's Book of Life. And they'll go down all the other books and find if your name's there. Or they check to see if your name's written there. A different story altogether. Oh, Hallelujah. You know, when I think of these books this morning, it reminds me of Malachi 3 and verse 16. I love that. 3, 16. I, 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 I love coming across verses that are 3, 16 because they're all good. Every one's fantastic. But Malachi 3, 16 says this. They that feared the Lord speak often one to another and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Every conversation you have in your home and here upstairs having fellowship and you're speaking about the Lord or thinking upon the Lord, it's written down in heaven. Oh, hallelujah. I hope your book's well full and a book of remembrance and your name's there as well too. Folks, our names are written in that wonderful book of the redeemed whom Paul would refer to we're on along with all the rest of our fellow laborers. Our names are written in the book of life. And the reason, folks, that we should be excited more about having our names written there, we're reminded in Scripture of a time yet to come when there will be others. In Matthew 7, verses 22 and 23, and this is what the Lord Jesus said, many will say to me, they're speaking to the Lord Jesus, in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Folks, prophesying doesn't bother me. Prophets don't excite me. They don't have to be honest with me. I can get, ooh, he's a prophet. It means nothing to me at all. Because, you know, there are plenty of people. We thought about that a couple of weeks ago. The old lion prophet in 1 Kings. Folks, there's plenty of lion prophets today as well, too. I often wonder about these boys that go along lines and start speaking over people's lives again. Listen. Prophets never done it in the past. What they did was they spoke to a nation of people. Or they went to a king and spoke to him. And that meant the whole nation. I'm not saying that you can't prophesy today. But it says this, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Oh, I. Look, if, listen, this is what also they've done. And in thy name have cast out devils. I don't know. I'm not even ask for a show of hands. But the many here have cast out demons. Hear these boys. Are coming to the Lord and saying, We prophesied. We cast out demons. We done all these manner of things. He says, And in thy name done wonderful works. Verse 23 says, And then will I, this is the Lord, profess unto them, I never knew you. I never knew you. I don't know who you are. You know, when you think of this, sons of, of Sheba, when they were followed by that, that that demon, that's what it says. It says, Paul we know. Jesus we know. Who are you? Who are you? They didn't know who they were. Why? Because their names weren't written in heaven. They weren't a threat to the, to, to the, the kingdom of darkness. Depart from me, ye that work. And his disciples whom the Lord had sent out to do many great deeds in his name. Folks, I want to tell you something. The enemy has a counterfeit. The enemy has a counterfeit. 
For every true prophet of God, the devil has a counterfeit. For every true preacher of God, the devil has a counterfeit. For every true church of God, the devil has a counterfeit. And for every true praise offered to the Lord, the devil has a counterfeit. Why? Because he said this, I shall be like him. You know, he can't kill the Lord. He loves him. He'd love to kill the Lord. He can't, he hasn't got that power. But what he does, he try and mimic everything. And what is the first thing he said to the Lord? Bow down to me, I'll give you all these things. He wants worship. And the sad reality is he's worshipped by so many throughout the world today. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Here we see the Lord resisting the proud. Because they come along and they said, did we not? All about their experience. Did we not do these things? Did I not? It's not about what we do. It's about what he has done. Yeah. Hallelujah. Can't think that enough, you know. They're misled. They've missed, they've missed the whole thing. Like you heard last Sunday evening. The call upstairs. They've made their own works like Cain. The Cain created this wonderful altar, did he not? Brought all the works of his hand and said, Lord, that's bound to be, that's bound to be suitable. And his brother Abel brought a little lamb. Without spot and without blemish. Folks, it's all about the finished work of Calvary. It's all about Christ and the precious blood that he shed for us. He has redeemed us all to himself. Should I never do great things or any of us do great things or attain great names for ourselves? Folks, all I want to say is this. May Christ be glorified in my life. And let me delight myself in knowing, not through any virtue or works of my own, but my name is written in heaven through Christ and him crucified. <coughs> Folks, my future in Christ because my name is written there, is absolutely secure. Revelation 3 and verse 5 tells us, He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. No tip X in heaven. Hallelujah. Will not be blotted out, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Folks, I want to say something this morning. Whenever you read verses of scripture like that, does it not humble you? Shouldn't puff us up like we're often we great. That humbles me, you know. To know glory to God that my name is there. To think that the Savior mentions and confesses my name, our name, before the Father. And we can say this morning with an absolute assurance that we are sealed. 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 Sanctified. Hallelujah. And you know, folks, as I close this and we'll come to the Lord's table this morning, they will can read the scriptures as we come around it. I shudder to think of the alternative. What happens if your name isn't there? And let me tell you something, I'm delighted in everything I've said thus far this morning and knowing that where our names are there. Let me read what it says, Revelation 20, verses 11 to 15. And it says this, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, and whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of the things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast in to the lake of fire, which is the second death. Verse 15 says, and this is the saddest, saddest thing. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life is cast into the lake of fire. Folks, don't be fallen for what the seventh dead man is telling you. And when you're cast in, that's the second death. It's all over. Folks, you're going into a flame which will burn for eternity. And you know, we can't shake our fist at God and say, you're an awful, awful God that you would send people there. He doesn't send anyone there. We send ourselves there. He sent his son as a remedy, glory to God, to save us from our sins, to save us from an end like this. But they who are not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. This is why this morning, folks, I rejoice in Romans 8 and 1, where it tells us there is therefore now con no condemnation for them who are in Christ. Once we were condemned, 
Once we lived under the wrath of God, but the wrath of God has been appeased through what Christ done on the cross. Hallelujah. Whosoever shall believeth in him shall be saved. Romans 10 and verse 9. Oh. You know, and yet, as, yes, as Daniel tells us in Daniel 11, 32, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. I want to say this, it's a privilege and a pleasure to serve him. But it's not about any exploits that we would do. It's about the greatest exploit of all. Amen. Was when God the Son cried, it is finished, and bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Amen. Shed his precious blood for us, the greatest exploit of all. And because of that, we can sing that wonderful hymn, My name is written there. Oh, hallelujah. Folks, as I close, I'm going to come to the table this morning. I'm sure many, many, many of you have seen that film or even read the story of Oscar Schindler and how he saved more than a thousand Jews. Schindler had a list. And what I think is incredible, that in the middle of all the badness of Nazism and the cruelty of the SS and the guards who were there, every single person that was on Schindler's list was saved. Isn't that incredible? In the midst of all the evil and the badness that was there, they were saved. Saved what? They were saved certain death in one of the camps. In fact, the very guards weren't allowed to lift their hand towards any of them. That's the way that it was. You know, as I sat and I thought about that, about Schindler's list, about how they were covered, and how much Schindler put in to have these people covered, I thought for a moment about my Saviour. Oh, hallelujah. And how much he put in to cover us. And in a rotten world full of sin and badness, folks, he won't allow the devil to lift his hand against you. But certainly have a goal, he'd call you all manner of names, but he'd not be able to lift his hand against you. And you've been spurred certain death, and you've been spurred hell, and you've been spurred the lake of fire. Why? Not because you were in Schindler's list, but glory to God, you were on the Saviour's list. Great. Oh, hallelujah. Great. Hallelujah. Folks, our names are right there. What a wonderful, wonderful thought. And folks, you know me. I'm all about the whosoever. I'm not about this elect stuff, but we are the elect. Our names were written in that wonderful Lamb's Book of Life before the world was even formed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David, lead us around the table this morning, Lord. Praise Glory to God. God. Glorify your name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a powerful word this morning, Jeremy. We're so blessed by that word this morning. So thankful to the Lord Jesus for everything that He done for us. And you know, the second that we gave our lives to Him, things changed. We became a new creation the second we gave our lives to Him. We were washed whiter than snow the second that we gave our lives to Him. Hallelujah. We were forgiven, no longer bound, but instead free the second that we gave our lives to Him. But just as we've heard this morning, our names were written in the Lamb's Book of Life the second we gave our lives to him and of course our prayer is that there be somebody watching this morning whose name would be written in that land's book of life and that they too will be able to gather around this table with us just to remember what the lord jesus did for each of us on the cross we're so thankful this morning for what he did willingly for each of us going to that cruel cross going through all that pain and suffering for each and every single one of us because of his unconditional love as i often say he knew what we would do uh, for him, he knew that we would let him down every single day, but yet he still chose to go Thank down the cross willingly. Hallelujah. Even the people that were doing those terrible things to him that day, that were, they were uh, uh, arresting him and uh, spitting in his face and doing all these terrible things, he showed nothing but love even to those people. You know, what an incredible saviour we serve this morning. We love these opportunities just to gather around the table. There's not a day goes past where we don't remember what the Lord Jesus did for us, but we just love gathering together on a Lord's Day morning just to gather around collectively just to thank and praise the Lord for what he did. So this morning, just as the emblems are being passed around, take your opportunity, take your liberty this morning to praise and thank the Lord for what he did on the cross. Praise and thank him for whenever they rolled that stone away, they said he is not here for he has risen. Hallelujah. He's alive and well this morning. Yes. Seated at the right hand of the Father. Yes. We thank and praise the Lord that he's our returning king. And we thank and praise him that our names are indeed written in the Lamb's book of life this morning.
For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, in the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Bless the Lord. Therefore, he ever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. The servers can come forward, please. Bless the Lord. is God. Thank you, Lord. Taking Lord of the Adams, Lord. And Lord, we really thank you, Lord, on that real cross, Lord. And what you've done for us and what you're going to do for us, Lord. Lord, we thank, thank you, Lord, for being with us. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us through, Lord. And dear God, thank you, Lord. Lord God, God, our name, our name, Lord, is in that sacred place, Lord. And Lord, the minute you put it there, Lord, it'll never ever be out of it, Lord. And Lord, you know your own people, Lord. 
Lord, he calls us all, Lord. But Lord God, Jesus, oh dear God, what you suffered, Lord. Lord, as you come on that cross, Lord. And the blood, Lord, run out of you, Lord, freely, Lord. And Lord God, you loved us too much. For God so loved the world. And he gave us only begotten Son. And who shall ever believe in them till that very, but have everlasting life? Bless Lord God, we have everlasting life, mm. Lord. We have everlasting life to me, Lord. Because, Lord God, you hang on that cross, Lord. And you bore every one of our sins, Lord. And, Lord, our names, Lord, are in, Lord, to do Bless the Lord. The Lord will always, Lord, remember thee, Lord. Lord God, we will never, Lord, hear down, Lord, we can go to you, Lord. Lord God, we can call upon you, Lord, and you set us free, Lord. Lord, your hands forever on us, Lord. And Lord, you hear every prayer, Lord. You hear, you see every heartbreak, Lord. And dear God, your arms are around us, Lord, because Lord, you still love us. And you'll always love us, Lord, and you'll stretch Jesus. your hands out towards us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, again for everything you've done. Thank you, Lord God, you're always with us, Lord. You're always there for us, Lord. And dear God, as we remind you this morning, all the evil ones. Oh, dear God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, we've got you, Lord. And Lord, we believe, Lord, we believe the scriptures, God, that you tell us about, Lord, your word, the word of God, Lord. Lord God, you're not let anything harm us, Lord, but you're with us, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, we can walk, Lord, and we can pray to you, Lord, where we are, or what we're doing, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for your love. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. for saving our soul, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making us whole, Lord. Mm. Oh, praise your holy name. Hallelujah. Praise, Amen. Thank praise you, Lord, God. Lord, 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 Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, just thank you for the Lord as you spoke this morning, Lord. Oh God, in Jesus' name, keep your arms around and protect him, Lord. Oh dear God, keep your heads, Lord, around him. Oh, God, he's covered by your precious blood, Lord. And, Lord, he's forgotten by the evil one who always be attacked, Lord. Lord, will you have him, Lord? Lord, will you be there for him, Lord? You always have been, Lord. Jesus. God bless him, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Help him, Lord. No matter what he's studying, Lord, keep your hand upon him, Lord. And, dear God, as he wipes his knees calmly, Lord, God bless him. Jesus. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, help him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your lovely name. Blessed be your lovely name. Yes, Lord, your, your word is sharpened in a two edged sword. Yes. And we're going to feast this morning of the evening. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father, that our names are written in the Lamb's book. Yes. And Lord, they cannot be erased. For you made a covenant with your son, Lord, that anybody that came unto you then, yes. his father would no eyes cast away. So, Father, we are people of the, the only Lord and true and living God this morning. And I just want to raise my voice to tell you, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for saving oh, my yes, soul. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me yes. my great salvation that is true of me. And I should have been crucified, and I should have suffered and died. Aye. I should have hung on that cross in disgrace, but Jesus, my Lord, took my place. Thank you, Lord, this morning that we come before you, Lord, 
and give you thanks, Lord, and sing your praises, Father, and knowing that you're in the midst. There's a king in the midst of us, Lord. You're sitting among us. Glory to God. And your garments, Lord, we can feel as you go from sea to sea. Yes. May we touch the heart when we your garment this morning, Lord. We have been blessed, truly blessed. And Lord, we just want to thank you for it. Thank you for Pastor Lord, as Sally has said. Keep a hedge of protection around him, Lord. Because it's people that it, it's pastors and everything else it's, that is out there reading and, and studying for to give to feed the flock on a Sunday morning. And we thank you for it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for Tom. Thank you for Lenny, Lord. And we ask you to bless him in abundance, Lord. Jesus. And his family and keep him safe. And we say the same for David and for Billy, Lord. Oh, Jesus, and for Barry as well, Lord, for the oversight now. And Lord, we just ask you, Lord, build this church, and the gates, the gates of hell will not prevail Amen. against Hallelujah. you, Lord. Build our wee church up, Lord. Even if it just stays the same number, Lord, help us, Lord, be like that three-edged sword. Yeah. Help us to witness to each other in love, Lord, and respect. And Lord, help us, Lord, to look on each other, pray for each other, Lord. And bring us round your table every Sunday morning, Lord. And we're all in one accord. Yes. And that's why the blessing falls. Glory. Because we're not in one accord with each other, Lord. Then there will be no blessing. That's right. But you have opened the heavens this morning, Lord. Yeah. And you have blessed us. And I thank you from the depths of my being this morning, Lord. For just for, for salvation mm. and for the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you so much. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Too wonderful for comprehension, like none we ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom? The depths of your love, you are beautiful beyond description, majesty enthroned above, and I stand, I stand in all of you, I stand. Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Mm. Yes, we do. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Folks, let's just take a moment just as we're closing this morning. Just to, let's pray for those who aren't here today, watching us online, that need a touch from the Lord. Let's pray that the Lord will bless you and heal us. If you need healing this morning as well, you claim your healing in Jesus' lovely name here in the house. Thank you, David, for leading us around the table this morning. Lord, we bless you this morning. We give you thanks for all that you have done in this house, O oh Lord. Yes. We thank you, O oh Lord, that we have heard from heaven. We've had a little touch of heaven here in this house, O oh God. Lord, we have felt, as, as Linda has said, we have felt that rush as you have made your way past. Lord, we have smelt the sweet aloes of glory. And Lord, we come this morning now and we touch the hem of your garment, O oh Lord. And Lord, Father, that virtue would flow into each and every one of our bodies, into our minds, into our lives. We lift those who are watching at home I need a touch from you this morning. Father, will you go and heal power and healing? 
We can say this morning with an assurance. When you tell us in your word, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Lord, heal your people this morning. Look their way, we pray in Jesus' lovely, lovely name. And Lord, if there's someone watching at home that doesn't know you as their own and personal saviour, Lord, to them, I pray you speak to their hearts, yes, speak Lord. to their souls, arrest them right now in Jesus' name and save them for time and for all eternity. And once again, Lord, before we make our way home from here, we ask, Lord, for healing to flow in this room yes. right now in the lovely name of Jesus. Lord, as our faces differ, so do our problems, so do all the issues that we have, oh Lord. But Father, we know and we thank you that we serve a God who is well able. Praise and Lord, we thank you that you don't just partially heal us or halfway heal us. Lord, you do everything with one blessing and the second blessing and the third blessing. You do everything by whole. So Lord, make your people everywhere whole this morning. We pray in Jesus' lovely name. Amen. Lift our heads, oh God. Lord, lift our hearts, oh Lord, we pray. And Father, I pray as we leave this place, as we came this morning, we would say, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Father, as we leave, we will say, it was good to be here, because surely the King of kings and the Lord of lords was here. Lord, I just pray a blessing on your, your people here, for their families. Lord, give them household salvation. Every single one, we pray. Bring them all in, O oh Lord, in these final days of grace. Lord, bless this church that's already been praying. I thank the Lord for the testimony that it is, O oh Lord. And Father, I know there are many who could point a finger and throw mud. But I thank you, O oh God, that we're still here. And we're still serving you. And still looking to you for your blessing. So, Father, part us now with your blessing. And go before us. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.